Hello, my name is Pedro Galvin, and I'm here presenting work done by myself, Salman, Emily, and Megan, and we are Team Scrappy. So Team Scrappy was actually asked to look at this tool and see how we could rebrand and redesign it to give it an upper hand in its current marketplace, or maybe even shift it out of its marketplace. This was designed by Debbie Rodriguez in 2006 when she saw that her child was having a little bit of a problem when it comes to being interested in eating. She purchased 5,000 units after she developed it herself, designed it herself, from a distributor in China. And she actually stored them in her basement. A pallet showed up right on her driveway and she unloaded them and took them down to her basement. Now, the biggest issue that Debbie's facing is that she's only going through six or seven units a week and it's actually charging her customer per unit when it ships because she's using Amazon. So this distribution is Debbie's biggest problem and this is what we chose to focus on the most. So here's our plan, because we saw some really big opportunities that are really, really, really available for us to take advantage of. And that has to do with the marketing, the promotions that we're using, a change in distribution, and an increase in pricing. So with the Tot Tools, when it was originally developed, the Tot Tools Sandwiches and More is the name that it was given. And that really limited the segments that you could target to 18 months to the toddler range. Past that, you didn't really get much interest because of the name. So we decided that we're gonna try and switch strictly from those 18 months and up and their parents and more towards people with grip disabilities. And in America alone, that's roughly 40 million people that previously were being missed out on. And so we're trying to push this company in a new direction and allow us to capitalize on every single segment that's available to us. And so we changed the name to Take a Bite. This name is a lot more inclusive, it's a lot more inviting, it's a lot more attractive to those caretakers and the users themselves with grip disabilities. We want to start a campaign. We want to use the people in this space on social media that actually have the disabilities themselves because these people have such a large network of like-minded individuals and people with similar disabilities that they're actually going to be able to see the product rather than just see it on Amazon. It's really hard to search for something on Amazon when there's a thousand different things that could be under the same name or the same category. So with this campaign, show us your bite, we're really, really gonna target these people directly. In order to make it more attractive to the adult user who odds are has larger hands and will need something larger to grip onto, we wanna increase the size of the handles. And later on, maybe come up with a new design through research and development that'll actually make the handles thicker and maybe even have a ru rubber uh, handle on them. We also want to curve out the outside so that way it's easier to eat the food without having to move it around as much and it's also able to hold larger pieces of food. The distribution does have to change. Because Debbie is sending this through Amazon, she's actually taking it to FedEx herself and mailing it herself, charging the customer per unit, as I mentioned before. And since it's stored in her basement, it's just highly inefficient. If she were to expand and grow, Hiring employees to come and work in the basement just isn't practical. So we suggest renting out a 1,500 square foot warehouse and putting the operations in there. Anything from receiving it, packaging it, putting the labels on it, and shipping it out. That'll require having a loading dock with this storage space. We want it to be within 10 miles of a FedEx location and roughly $1,600 a month to rent. Otherwise, it's gonna start cutting into the numbers that are really, really important. So here's our pricing strategy. Currently, the Tot Tool Sandwiches and More is only priced at $8.95. But when we switch the name to the Take a Bite, we plan on moving that price up to $24.99 at the beginning of 2019, and then moving it up again at the end of 2019 into 2020 to $32.99. The reason we think we could do this and the reason we know it'll work is because you're no longer just giving a child a tool to keep them interested in eating. You're giving these people back their independence. You're giving them something that they may have lacked for quite some time. These price increases will occur after receiving the order of the rebranded products. It's not gonna happen beforehand because people are just gonna see us as hiking the price for no reason. 
So when this plan gets approved, we want to increase the price at the very beginning of 2019. And with that, that's when our rebrand and redesign is going to be complete. By the end of 2019, December 31st, we want our marketing plan and our distribution plans to be complete. Our distribution plan, that's going to include our new warehouse and the logistics of it. That's when all the purchasing and the movement from the, ba the basement to that warehouse will occur. At the beginning of 2020, the end of January, we'd like to increase that price to $32.99 to really establish ourselves as the leader in this space. That we will receive another 5,000 units at this exact same time, and we expect to sell through them quite quickly. That's also, like I said, when that inventory is gonna start showing up at that warehouse rather than Debbie's doorstep. So what is the impact here? We're giving these people back their independence, and that, like I said, that's something they might not have had. But it's not just having an impact on the consumer base, it's also having an impact on Debbie's personal life. Debbie has put her blood, sweat, and tears, so to speak, into this product. And to see it sell more than six to seven units a week can change her life. Also, moving that out of her basement and into an actual warehouse gives the feeling of success because there's space to grow and there's room for improvement no matter how small. We expect, we expect to reach around $30,000 in revenue and roughly $6,000 in profit. The engagement rate from these campaigns could be anywhere around 5 to 6%, but we like to play it safe and we're going to say 5%. So with that, we'd like to thank you for letting us look at this and put some of our own thought and our, some of our own love into this product. Uh, Team Scrappy is very thankful for this opportunity and we look forward to hearing from you.